And welcome back to Press X for Chromosomes, where we're about to go in the mist. Hooray. I got back on the boat. I played yes. Lambert before he fucking disappears for his whole life. Shh. I think. Spoilers. I think. I don't know. The game even tells you. <laughs> the game's <laughs> like, dude, fucking shit's going to change. If this. I don't think we have any quests that like can't be done. Right. After this. So we'll find out. We have a hard save for a reason. Yeah. Which, I mean, who cares, really? I mean, I know you want the trophy for the 100% Gwent. Yeah, but, like, that... We've at least cleared that problem. Right. And, I, I mean, I wouldn't I wouldn't hate... Oh, pressing X just brings us. Yeah. I wouldn't hate... Um... Oh, shit, fuck. Oh, shit, fuck. I think, yeah, the... F- I think this one's Five, the new one. I believe so. After we did everything. Yeah, because I think it took us about an hour to get food. I'm just going to do one of these. Um, but, uh, what was I going to say? I don't remember. More stories. Yeah, we're trying to to Isle of Mist. Hooray. There's my other boat. <laughs> so, yeah, that pulled put, us in a lot faster than, or did well, you hit circle last time? Because I kept hitting circle. Oh, okay, okay. The curse that held Uma proved hard to lift, but Yennefer and the witchers managed to do oh. it. The ugliest Floating. man alive <laughs> yeah. revealed himself. <laughs> I don't remember. I, th- I think I just, and an like, boat. I follow it. <laughs> I think that's, <laughs> so I don't know why it's loading. Or if it's just giving us a brief recap. Right. Or maybe it's weird. loading a new area because fucking, I, I don't think, I don't think this is technically on the map, this area that we're going into. Okay. Yeah, see, I think he's just going into... I think it's... N- sp- you can't actually visit here. Okay. The splash screen was slightly different. Yeah. I think he just boats in. And... Then you never visit this place ever again. Okay. So I think that's why it took a loading screen. Because it's like, you're in a new area, technically. Right. But... Not one that you can ever go back to. And then I actually have to just boat. Make sure you do everything you want to do here. But, like, also, if I, like, look at the map. Yeah, I'm all the fucking way out here. Oh, wow. Okay. So, like. Because we were down at the bottom. No, it's, it's a single map. This is oh, it. Oh, it is. So, yeah, this is its own fucking area. Oh, shit. Okay. So, now I'm going to follow this thing inward. Let's go. I can't see it. It would be so messed up if they at put stuff in here. I mean, you they can't get anywhere else. Oh, yeah. I'd fucking be real mad about that. But I think game developers are not super shitty at doing that anymore. Right. Like collectibles. It's like, you better get out here while you're right. here because you're the, never coming back. The only games that kind of really do that anymore are like horror games or games that aren't very super long. Yeah. And you can replay it. But, like, horror games, that's, like, a kind of a staple of horror games. Like, like the super great... Th- oh. Secret item. Don't do it. God, I got it dead right before it fucking broke my boat. I didn't even see that thing on the map. I was too busy fucking map driving, and I, I still didn't see it. I thought they were off to the left more. Are you going to do the same thing, you piece of shit? Absolutely. Or they all learned the lesson from the other one. <laughs> yep, here. Get off. I just shot it out of the sky. Unfortunately, they may not die because they can swim, but... Oh, no, they won't. But at least I'm here. Like, what else are they going to do? That's true. Woo! Nice. Made it! Made it! There's some nice, beautiful offal there. Oh, it's a blood moss. Mmm, bloody. Time to make a tea out of it. It's like the reddest, most mineral tea you've ever drank. What the fuck is this? Naming? 
Okay. Doesn't look like a foglet. I think it's a foglet type. Okay. You'll you'll see that you'll especially see that in Toussaint. Okay. Things that are of a creature you've seen, but a different variation. Okay. Because it's regional. Right. It's Pokemon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm now remembering about this area. This is cool. Actually, a lot of the main plot plot things are pretty cool in my opinion. So like, this part is cool. Firefly stopped at the hut. I'll look inside. I thought it was gonna be more of a manor. Locked. Anybody in there? Damn. Hello. I'm not gonna hurt you. Open up. Oh, you blew a fucking <laughs> Who are you? What do you want? I'm Geralt, a witcher. Go away! Looking for a young woman. Ashen hair, scar on her face. Will you let me in? No. <laughs> How many of you are in there? Why do you need to know? You're taking a bloody census. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the objective don't think that I want you. Okay, so there's at least three then. You there, outside the door. Geralt, that right? Yeah. Geralt. Well, you should have asked me my name. Not just said it, because of course I'll say yeah. <laughs> no way you can get to this aisle conventionally. Crikey. You call it shipwreck conventional. Leave it be me. You know what you mean. <laughs> Don't explain. A short while past, we won loot from Scaliger to Novigrad. And Ferenc got talking with the captain. He sold him a magic firefly for 40 to know the way to a hidden treasure. Uh, okay. This conversation's getting tiring. Listen, let's make a deal. I'm not a demon. You don't need to fear me. Give me a chance, I'll prove it. How do you aim to do that? I don't know. Fucking you know, <laughs> Look for your mates? Say, yeah, mates, or I'm gonna get pissed. I, I mean no harm. Aye, but I'm not proud of either. I mean, easy. How many are there? Two. I hope that that's the thing. This Ivo, where do I look? Edric insisted he'd explore the cave to the east. Tried to knock it out his head. Literally, bugger would bug you. Gaspard, where'll I find him? He said it was defeated. Said to wait to be there. We had to take action for all of you. He did. Claimed to have spotted a lantern out to sea. So he said he'd climb the highest peak to look out for a ship. I feel like seeing a Where lantern in the go? fog is Where? like, especially in like a cursed aisle like this, I wouldn't trust it. Yeah, I wouldn't trust that. <laughs> no. All right. All right. See if I can't find all three. I didn't pay attention to a single one because I know the waypoint did. <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> I'm like real shitty about these kind of things lately. Like, I just am like, ah, I'm too tired to pay attention. Game but also, it's because I played this, so that's why I'm like kind right. of zoning out when they have conversations. I can't tell if that's the game or kids outside. That's the kids. It could have been also, because, I mean, harpies. I, I've been. No, that's true. But I did hear someone get really annoyed with the kids earlier, though, and be like, shut up! <laughs> I <was> yeah, like, <laughs> I feel that. Yeah, that's that's not uncommon, uh, honestly, around here. I but mean, yeah. kids, it's not uncommon at all. Okay, I won't just finish you. I'll just cut you to a million pieces then. That is really nice. The Ard. Yeah. 
she almost pushed you off the cliff. She I know. Weakness. <laughs> I was like, oh no. She knows the fact that my ankles can't handle fucking three feet fall. Ooh, happy eggs. I don't know if I need they them, but you never eggs. know. I think I did need like harpy eggs recently for something. For like some sort of fucking Earth potion. <laughs> yeah. I, you know, honestly, it could be. The fact that like armor does kind of take that kind of shit from time to time. Well, I mean, it's just, it's the ens essence of harpy. The essence of harpy. If you put it on your uh, wrist and neck, it will change because of your pheromones. <laughs> oh, God. Do you want to risk it? There's a dwarf down there. <laughs> yeah, that's why I stopped because I saw him there. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, I know I need to go there anyway. But I also, I'm not going to risk it because Geralt's angles. His poor They're made angles. of fucking porcelain. Oh, he's alive. I shouldn't have used that. But that took care of you, easy. Hey, stop it. I like one of the tips that's like, if you cut out her tongue, she won't be able to spit stuff at you. And I'm like, when you cut out her tongue? I've never found that opportunity yeah. to do that, but I think they do kind of whip their tongue at you, and then you can cut it off. Okay. But I'm, I'm, I, I, I'm not strategic. I just slash Fair. wildly. Yeah. I sometimes block. I dodge more. Uh, huh. Dead. Damn. Oh. Hey guys, I found a friend, but he uh, slipped and fell. And the fact that you can see his bones are crushed like that. Yeah. Oh, I can't even interact, dude. Dude, I gotta fucking make my sword better. It needs a little bandaging up. Should have absolutely repaired stuff before we came here. Should have sold things. That too. <laughs> you have ten pounds. Good luck. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's just hit it with a master. Might as well. I feel like we're gonna be fighting monsters for a while, anyways. Right now, I don't think we fight like a ton mm -hmm. here. Mostly just harpies. But we do fight. You know, I think each area has like one to fight. Oh, okay. like each dwarf or something to fight along the way or at them specifically. Obviously, oh, there's a harpy around here. Uh-oh. It's before the storm, or life is strange. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Listen to a cacophony of weird things with Those, kids outside. They were quiet for so long, and then all of a sudden, they just decided noise now. These are the ones that are, like, noisy at, like, 2 a.m. Gross. One, everyone's noisy here at, like, 2 a.m. It's annoying. I hate... I, I'm a night owl because it's... Quiet. Quiet. <laughs> Usually. I, not here. I live in Backworlds world here. Which I'm surprised there's not any more like 24 hour things around yeah. here. It's like, it's a small town so everything's fucking shut down at like 8pm. Yeah. That was what I was finding out when we were on our road trip. It's just like, because we were staying in like small towns a lot. And it was like everything closed at like 6 to 8. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah, it's fucking, it's a nightmare. Wake up. Shoot. How do people do anything Back fun? I don't know. Wake up. What, what's happening? Who, who are you? I'm Geralt. You and your friends. What's your story? Ravenick and Company. Real estate appraisal, insurance, mass event organization. Ooh, Gaspard Sutter. So it's seven dwarves. Really <laughs> slept through that storm. I don't know what the other one's name it's was. The one that fucking died. died. Fell. Yeah. Folly. <laughs> I'm trying to think. Yeah. You start yeah, learning dopey, that. Wheezy, sneezy. Yeah, we, we, you've already heard fucking dopey, sneezy. Yep, yeah. yep. I think I made that connection really early on because I was like, uh, but like with this guy, I was like, oh, it's, it is a seven doors. Because yeah. I was like, what is this, like sneezy? Right. Dopey and things. Your Angry. <laughs> oh yeah, Grumpy was the other one. Grumpy. Some horror swarmed. I both saw it with my own eyes. And Ferenc, I heard him. A blood-curdling cry, then the roar of a beast. Let's get back to the hut. I'll protect you along the way. Shame about the lads, really. But what can you do? Come on. He's kind but of I should warn you narcoleptic and narcolepsy. off the tower. I know what it means. Don't worry, I'll keep you awake. Uh, off we go then. Hold on. 
You got shit behind you that yeah. I want to pick up. No! Damn it! Well, we gotta watch him die first. Well, because, yeah, they didn't want to animate him going down ladders. Yeah. I'll come back. Hold on. He doesn't have a health bar, so. Yeah, he's probably fine. I was playing a, um, uh, a new game that I just bought, and it's like a... It's technically an indie game, but, I mean, they've released on, like, all four platforms. Mm -hmm. And it's a really well-done game. But at the beginning, it's just like, oh, yeah, no, if you... Oh, shit, that was worth coming back up here for. Well, it's a nice-looking chest. That's why I assumed that it might have good stuff in Fair it. Fair enough. So I was like, I want that chest. Um, But it's... <laughs> at one point, it's like, yeah, we're done here. We should go back to so-and-so. I'm like, okay. And then it just takes you back to so-and-so. And then you're talking to the person. And they're like, hey, yeah, no, like, check on the check on the cauldron to, like, upgrade your spells. And I'm like, sweet. I want to check that out to see like, the requirements for, like, the other schools of spells. Mm -hmm. And it just takes me immediately back home because they're like, it's getting dark. And I'm just like, now I have to go back. Instead of just doing it while I'm there. Stop spiriting me away. Stench. I mean, it's not that big of a deal, but it was just like, God damn it. <laughs> yeah, no, I get that. Is there another one? These seem to like come in pairs. All right, you're good. Let's go. Snoozles. <laughs> He did not make it very far. Come on, get up. Oh, nipples, you're a naughty kitty, aren't you? <laughs> oh, you just talked to him, okay. I guess I just talked to him, yeah. Know much about this isle? Almost nothing. You know, it, it ain't on my map. A common characteristic of enchanted islands. <laughs> like it's enchanted. I it's know it's enchanted. I'm sure of. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's like, uh, like, no doubt. Yeah. Considering you have to use a magic item to get here, I think it's enchanted. It's a little enchanted. I see you. You're right there. Your fucking shit gave you away. That foglet bitch Wait. talked to you right before it died. It's not dead. Keep fucking enchanting it. Oh, there's three of them this time. Not if I do this. Oh, they're dead. Weird? Oh, it must what? have been its copy. Yeah, I think it's the copy. Oh, I was doing the coast one. So, up the hill? <laughs> yeah, sorry. Sorry, guys, for taking the fucking scenic view. Scenic route. Come this way. <laughs> There's a road over here. I was gonna say I know the road's this way. I like the lanterns though. I could I could just do this while I'm here though. He doesn't have a health he bar. He doesn't have so. health. He's just following me. I'm worried that if I take him, they're gonna lock you out of this. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to look for this guy because he was like, oh, he's probably dead anyway. Yeah, 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 I see ya. I won't lie, I actually kind of expected um, all of them to be dead except for the last one you go to. Oh yeah, me too, honestly. Where? There we go. Yeah, I, I, I think, which I'm not gonna say much, but I'm, I, I think not exactly all day. Obviously one hasn't, so. Right. Not yet. Trying to flee the fiend. Stubby legs, too slow. One of the missing dwarves. Shame he's dead. But which one was he? Was he grumpy? Come on, dude. We're not dealing with that fiend. <laughs> Stubby that, legs. I thought I saved two, but maybe I just did it wrong. Maybe if you go to that one first. Yeah. I'm not too broken up. It doesn't really matter. Saving one over none is better than nothing. I wonder if you if you can talk to that dwarf from up top so he doesn't like fall down. 
I don't know, because he's died at every single run. That's fair enough. It'll be something that I'll probably see, like, look up eventually. Oh. <laughs> Come on, man. We're almost there. The most naughty kitty. Just get the fuck up. Who are you, Gulliver? Your foot is freaking out. You broke your foot. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah. What is it brought you to this strange place? Looking for someone. H here? Mm -hmm. Just kind of turned out that way. Not too keen on talking about it, are you? Not really. Come on, let's go. My fucking wisp thing is really lighting up this joint. Yeah, hey, I really likes this place. Thank God it just cutscene right me. You your friend. Part two. Let's hear him then. Wake up. Uh, I'm awake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're like, yeah, that's him. <laughs> I'm the door. Gosh, Park. Ha, you seem a bit muddled. Obviously has to be uh, Doc. Muddled. A bit drowsy, that's all. What of the others? Found one near a monster's den. He was already dead, sadly. Saw another fall from a cliff. Broke his neck. Shit. Roderick told me to have an eye on the snot. Twas his nephew. Do slipped. Yep. Brought one. Sorry. I mean, it's fair. Wrong. You're on a cursed Never island. Oh, yeah. Wrong. What'll we do now? Got a boat. You can leave with me. But I need to find someone first. An ashen haired lass? Yes. Oh, dreadful, sorry. Why? Yeah, why? <laughs> What do you mean? She's cold. Spirits left her. Must have passed shortly before we found her. Let's wait by the boat. <laughs> Let's give him a minute. <laughs> I'm looking for a nation haired woman. Looks at the corpse. <laughs> like, ah! <laughs> well, anyway, there's a boat. <laughs> yeah. Fucking healed boots? It's nice. Not, not her boots. <laughs> I want to loot this off her. Yeah. <laughs> Girl's going to look fine in heels. Ass is going to pop. Oh, yeah. Spent all this fucking time looking for you. Yeah. And now you're too busy being dead. Fucking dead what is her fucking items doing it's fucking shaking around dude it's wind all the times you didn't grab your sword but you did grab your sword <laughs> like the one of the very few people I feel like Geralt like really truly cared about he kind of cares about everyone I mean sorry Mortal. Well, the only person that he, like, outwardly was, like, cared about. Right. Whereas, like, everyone else, he's like, I hate you to your face, but also <laughs> I care about you. I love that it's basically Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Because she's got white hair. <laughs> I think that's why they exactly did that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's literally supposed to be a little tiny little reference to that. Hello, I'm her spirit. Yeah. It, it, How you doing? I think that might be it. <laughs> no surprise. <laughs> oh. oh. I don't need to mourn you anymore. <laughs> I'm having memories that were never in the games. But we've got to see in the TV show. Oh, of them finding each other in the forest. Yeah, much nicer forest here. Yeah. Oh my god, you brought my spear back. <laughs> Thank you. So, like, the dwarves came on a firefly as well. 
No, they fucking crash their ship. That's Didn't how you end up on this aisle. You fucking crash the ship, basically. Didn't they say that they bought, like, a firefly or something? I don't, I don't think so. Huh, okay. Or maybe they followed that here? I don't know. It was in a bottle. I don't remember who gave it to us. Never tired of doing it either. Might have been Avalok. Yeah, maybe. What creature was it? Huh? Creature? One that gave you the scar over your left eye. It's new. I don't remember it. Souvenir from the cockatrice of Spalma. Another addition to the collection. Nothing special. Yours has healed beautifully, though. Avalok. He prepared some special ointments. Yeah, Avalok. But that was before the curse gripped him. Wonder where he is now. Cam Warren. We found yeah, him. he was a very ugly little baby for a really <laughs> long time. <laughs> yeah. You should really ask him about it because I'm sure it'd make him real happy to right. hear about it. How no one fucking could understand him. We lifted the curse. He's at Care Morin, waiting for you. Are you serious? He was cursed? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> would not jest about something like that. <laughs> a nice thing to wake up to. Well, what about me? Avalok? You've not let me down to date. Not once. Not like you. Yeah, why, why is... Why what's his motives? Avalok helping you? Sages have never been fond of humans. Oh, he doesn't do it for me. It's about my power. As if it could ever be about anything else. Avalok tried to teach me how to control my ability. He was also making sure I didn't fall into Eridin's hands. You learned about something. Junk. Yeah, right. <laughs> what everyone wants. Control of my powers. His home world faces annihilation. Eridin's decided to invade ours. Brilliant, wouldn't you say? Can't achieve much on his own, so he needs to bring an army. Except his navigators can't possibly move him and thousands of NL between planes. Their abilities won't allow it. Whereas yours will. Exactly. And if I die in the process... Well, that's a necessary sacrifice. Like, it's a weird, once again, a very gray area of like, well, he's trying to save his civilization. Well, he's trying at this to save millions but, like, of people. But also through the means of invasion instead of just being like, hey, can right. I crash here for a little bit? It's but, like, so it's like a weird, like, mix of like, well, I, can, I guess I kind of see what he's fucking doing. Right. But like, but like, it, you, you don't have to have it, like be an ass about it but, at the and, same time well, and that's the other thing too is like it's forcing someone to use their powers and if you die you die it's not i'm coming to you begging you for helping me and you understand the risks and willingly accept those risks yeah like, exactly it, it's such a consent issue yeah he just, like, he just he just passed that step he's just yeah. like we're doing it i don't give a shit yeah no i'm gonna hook you to this machine like rogue from x-men yeah. and you're gonna do it <laughs> have fun your hair's already white though so you know <laughs> yeah as soon as I had left you and Yen on the Isle of Avalon, your the Isle of my cat, Eridin and his Red Riders were on my heels. I fled through many worlds, many times. They came very close to catching me once. It was then that Avalok appeared, out of nowhere. He found a portal and took us to a world where Eridin couldn't find us for, oh, perhaps half a year. The world where Eridin couldn't find you. What was it like? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Try me. Earth. People there had metal in their heads. Waged war from a distance. <laughs> using things similar to megascopes. And there were no horses. Everyone had their own flying ship instead. Siri, stop fooling around. Told you you wouldn't believe me. She's talking about cyberpunk. <sighs> oh, is that okay? Is that She's talking about was? night fucking city. Okay. This was way before that game fucking was coming out. Right. And so when, like, because I started playing this when Cyberpunk had already been, like, announced, uh -huh. but it hadn't come out yet. And I was like, is she fucking talking about Cyberpunk? See, I don't and know. And this game's, like, five years old. <laughs> I don't entirely know a, a well, the lot metal, about Cyberpunk. The metal so. in your head kind of says that to Cyberpunk. And, like, okay. f and flying ships. Okay. I didn't realize like, that the cars it, were flying. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, they're they're hover. I didn't realize that because the only people I've have... seen have been all, them on the ground. Well, I think they're still like hover. I don't know. Okay, exactly. But like, yeah, she's absolutely talking about cyber. Nice. So everyone was like, everyone took this as like a, is she gonna be in cyberpunk? She's be cyberpunk. And the developers were like, the developers actually kind of regretted putting that little like, like haha -ha, like right. world in because they had no intention of doing that. And fucking yeah, everyone was like, we're gonna see Siri in cyber, and they were like, no, you're not. Yeah. Like, we just put it in because it was, like, 
you know, she can hop worlds, so might as well share that world a little right. bit. But you're not going to. And I was like, if they want to quell the fans a little bit, put like an image briefly Something. somewhere. Yeah, that yeah. you can find of her. But like, don't don't go any further or mention yeah i met a girl with ashen hair yeah or something like that and like cool and leave it at that and everyone will be fine with that and happy there's a reference right but they already have like little references like like milf (laughs) guard like a magazine oh my god (laughs) like i was like i was like you know i mean they got their shit just they weren't planning on that being anything right i thought i was safe besides i i wanted to find you you and yennefer Imagine me dating Triss and hearing Yennefer yes. mention so much. I know, right? <laughs> times I thought you were just a step away. Other times, I felt like I was. I think he actually she asks about that. Surprised. If you're dating Triss, yeah. If you are dating, because I think he has a different reaction. Okay. And she's like, "Are you?" And you're like, "Nah, I fucking hooked up with Triss." And she's like, "Oh." <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. So tell me how it happened. We'll just recap it. Yeah. Eredin located us mere moments after we landed on Ard Skerry. Soon after, he and his riders surrounded us. I thought it was over, the end. Turned out Eredin had other plans. He produced a phylactery, uncorked it. A fog enveloped us. And Avalok began gasping for air. That's how Eredin cursed Avalok. Triggered his transformation into Uma? Yes. He didn't wish to kill him. Humiliation, that's what he was after. But Avalok refused to succumb without a fight. He cast a spell that wrought havoc in the hunt's ranks. And in a full half of a forest on Ard Skellig. Yet it also gave us time to flee. Avalok opened a portal. I leapt in. He was supposed to follow right behind me, but something went awry. Impaired by the curse, he failed to reach the portal in time. We had agreed that if anything went wrong and we were separated, we would meet at his hideout in Venom. But you failed to meet there. Yes, we failed to. Once through the portal, instead of at Avalok's hideout, I landed right in the middle of Crookback Bog. I barely escaped the crows. And then there was the Baron. You know he took me hunting. I killed a wild boar with my sword. I heard. A coincidence, really. I had no desire to hunt that day, but it felt wrong to refuse. I'd taken nothing remotely resembling a hunting weapon. I simply hadn't intended to hunt. I was wandering through the forest, breathing deep the air. And then I heard a strange sound. Unsettling. Boar attacked you? Mm Mm-hmm. Big as a bison, and lumbering straight at me. And all I had was my sword had to manage did just fine judging by how the baron's men remember it simple soldiers the whole lot but we got along splendidly a shame i had to leave flee but i didn't want to bring the wild hunt down on me apart from which i knew by then the curse was progressing so instead of looking for avalok i decided to find you and yen <laughs> yeah, I'd meet yeah. this fucking so you champion of humans, so this champion. wonderful human being. You and Yennefer were nowhere to be found, and I needed someone who could fix the phylactery. No ordinary craftsman would do. I needed a mage, one with extraordinary powers. Dandelion took it upon himself to help me. It was as if his honor depended on it. He arranged a meeting with a mage, but it proved a trap set by the temple guard. Hmm, failed to mention that. Probably didn't want to worry you. Later, we learned the guard did that sort of thing regularly, in the hope of nabbing anyone who collaborated with mages. We needed to find another way. That was clear. Then Dandelion said he knew a man who owned a piece of moly bread, as he put it, could do more than others. He was certain to know someone who could fix a phylactery. And then we stole money from him. (laughs) And then we devised a heist. Yeah. (laughs) But I was desperate. I had no choice. You suspected right. Orson was not the ideal partner in crime. Damn simpleton got it in his head that we cheated him and kidnapped Duvi. Who you promptly freed only to have to flee to Temple Isle. Great idea. We hadn't planned it. Had no time to consider. We just bolted. I didn't even realize the guardsmen were driving me into a trap. Suddenly there I was, 
and I knew I had to disappear at once. And that's when you landed back in Skellige. The shore of Hindisfjall, the first pleasant place that came to mind. Hjalmar and I used to swim there. Wait, so you actually wound up there by accident? I thought you and Avalok had arranged something. No, he simply sensed me use my power. Just but he wasn't like where I am, where a I fucking come. horrible little bean? Fact, right, this is the part that confuses me. His ride is in tow. Once again, yeah, because it was like, quickly. unless that, she's talking about a different brief Bounce curse. Back, my flight. And then, dreams. Just dreams. Well, but I mean, it has to be the same curse because she knew the words that were used to cast it. So maybe it's like a really slow acting curse. May Did she know the words to cast it? Yeah, because Dandelion repeated them back to us. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, see, that's why she's like, I like fucking, me. okay, I don't know what happened there. Yeah. Lately, pretty horrible. Likewise, for the most part. In one, a monster grown from a stillborn child. Maybe that's where he you. wore the mask. <laughs> maybe it was like a slow and maybe it was getting, like, fucking up his face right. and shit. I had a few nice dreams. Or maybe also he was like, I'm in human territory. <laughs> yeah, I better hide it. All around people danced and laughed. Like that one a lot better. Me too. These dreams, and the others, ended in some tower. No matter what I dreamed, in the end, I would enter a tower. Recognize it? Know where it might be? Not sure. I don't think so. But there was something familiar about it. And something terrifying. The tower was stark and dead. But at the same time, I felt I had to enter it. Did you? No. Dreams all ended with me searching for the entrance. Get a and shovel, start digging. Instead of a tower. Yeah, dig for a tower. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if not for the scar over your eye, I'd have thought I was still dreaming. I was afraid you were dead. Found some dwarves here. Said they only have me. one kid and yeah, they right? might die. God, terrible parent. Man, Not even my own flesh and blood, say, but Jesus. I didn't even want you. You were a surprise. <laughs> yeah. You're adopted. Yeah. <laughs> Got a boat on the beach. Once we land, we'll head for Kaer Morin. On a horseback. Right. Conventional means of travel. They're just better. Though a portal would be quicker. And draw Arid into us immediately. Rather not risk it. Besides, I hate portals. It's like fucking Indiana Jones with the I hate snakes. Right, yeah. Damn. They took the boat. Listen, we gotta think of a way to. Had to really load those three scenes. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, I think they're here. Yeah. Might as well portal. Maybe it was a good thing that they took the boat. I mean, that's cool looking ships. That's though. a very cool looking ship. God, I'm gonna get those cider screeching. See you. Bye, bitches. They're like, God, that must be annoying. I, well, yeah, I mean, like, be looking at <laughs> going for something, and then like, fucking they keep teleporting. I see away. you. Yeah. I see Every you. Every time you get there, they leave. Yeah, you're like it took me like five years to get here. Like God, fine. <laughs> I mean, I guess you know your quarry, so you're not like super upset about it. But I know I would just be bringing like a sniper. I'd just be like. Just be like, I'm gonna hit you in the head with the beanbag, so that way you ben Affleck, knock off. I'd be like Ben Affleck smoking, be like, <sighs> <laughs> yeah, right. I guess her. But they they can like teleport kind of too, just not at the scale she can. Right. So it's like it's probably not that hard. It's just a little tedious. They had a ship. I'm surprised about them having a ship. Look at those horses, fucking demon horses with those eyes. They're witching horses too. They, they they can see in the dark. Yellow eyes. Oh shit. I don't know. <laughs> horses. Hey Vesemir. Hey Vesemir, the man that's like super fucking uh uh <laughs> Don't 
just Whoa. crotchety. Yeah. yeah. And about rules. But in the fucking movie, you were not about any of those things. A little things. bit more loosey goosey. Well, you're like young, way younger in that, too. Yeah. Hey, Roach. <laughs> no, no. Remember, my Roach is stuck at the top of the stairs. Right. Sorry. That's Roach 2 and 3. He's like, I'm old, we can't do that. No. <laughs> My is so beautiful. Yeah, focus on the looks, Yennefer. <laughs> no, <right? laughs> no point standing around. Come on, time to greet the others. You've not changed a bit. Any of you. All just like I remember. Well, we age slowly, so. Yeah. <laughs> Except for the scar of your eye. He's like, shut up about that. <laughs> He's like, what? it healed. Enough. <laughs> oh, okay. Damn, okay. Yeah, yeah. Tr I was going to say, Trish came down and fucking Yennefer was like, meh, <laughs> in mine. <laughs> so that's why I'm like, uh oh. Yeah, she's still like, meh. <laughs> I'm going to get a meh from either girl, but at least I'm not dating them both. <laughs> right. They're all here. Everyone you asked for help. Avalox resting in the tower, still in. Yeah, he went through a lot. Yeah. No reason to do it out here. I mean, considering we Come basically inside. almost killed him. Yeah, I mean, we kind of had it coming. <clears throat> Damn, it's good to see you again. I. Maybe I'll give you two a moment. Tris, please. No, no, y you must have missed each other terribly. A minute's delay won't hurt anyone. And she, Yenna was way nicer to Tris in this one. She fucking was a dick. <laughs> I was like, God, calm down. I honestly thought that would like go towards Tris, not Yennefer. I, I wasn't sure. I took a gamble. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> If it's looks could kill. Way. 45 seconds. Huh? We've 45 seconds left. Well, 30 now. And then we throw the gauntlet at the wild hunt. So I beg you, use these seconds well. Yen, I adore you. Hmm. No points for creativity. I had 30 <laughs> seconds. I know, right? What am I supposed to think of? Neat. Time to go. <laughs> yeah. Yes, ma'am. Oh, you took that literally. Hi, Kitty. Yeah, you know the wild hunt better than anyone else. Tell us about the magic they use. Their navigators open portals. Can I make it so I can see their fucking subtitles? Yeah. They also summon the frost that occupies the voids through which they travel. There's just not enough of us. Good to see you. It'll be a hard fight. Oh, hey, guys. There's Helmar, fucking nice. all three fucking idiots here. Geralt, how are things? Uh, yeah, plenty another way. Got another voyage in mind? Horse? Ice Giant was just the beginning. Besides, I got all kinds of horse sons already saying he wasn't that big. What about the folk of Ungvik? You and your men were going to help them return to their isle and rebuild Urskar. Ceres will take care of that. <laughs> you said you would. You and Siri, as I remember, you two grew up together, at least for a while. Aye, spent half her childhood in the Isles. Always at my heels she was. Scrawny wee thing. But her leaps on ice skates. Why, none of us could rival them. Tried to outdo her once. Smashed me mouth on a rock. Ouch. Then you went to Krach and announced you'd agreed to wed. You hear of that? Aye, we had twelve winters on us, both. Any thought of continuing with that romance? Me da whipped it out of me head. <laughs> Wonder what it'd be like to see her now. I, she just walked past you. Did she? Farewell, on crate. I mean, to get to the main area, she <laughs> just jump over the table. Final age, the time of the end. 
Loot my own table. Hold on, I want to talk to the other guy. I want to talk to your friend. Get ready for him. Wild hunts near. So Ragnar Rog is upon us. Yeah, Ragnar Rog. All right, Ragnar I, I think it's a good place to stop. Yeah. So I'll catch you guys on the next episode because it's probably also going to be a little long. All right. Uh, and uh, we'll fight uh, the wild hunt. And yeah, probably and talk right. to a lot of people. So yeah. Okay. So until next time, bye.